Hundreds of holiday revelers were on hand at San Bruno's Caltrain Station to welcome the annual Caltrain Holiday Train. Parents and children alike arrived early in eager anticipation of the train carrying Santa and his helpers. Many got a chance to place Santa themselves by bringing along toys to share and donating them to the Marine Corps Toys for Tots and the Salvation Army. Both organizations are beneficiaries and partners in putting on the Caltrain Holiday Train. Prior to the train's arrival, revelers at the San Bruno Station were treated to festive carols performed by the El Camino High School Choir from South San Francisco. The night grew colder, but the chill in the air failed to dampen the eager anticipation of the train's arrival. Workers from Caltrain were on hand to hand out programs and candy canes for the kids. Finally, right on schedule, the Caltrain holiday train pulled into the San Bruno station. Adorned with more than 40,000 lights and sporting a rolling stage for carolers, characters, and bands, Santa's holiday train also featured its own special edition, a snow machine that helped add to the festive spirit and holiday magic. The holiday train is a two-day event stopping at four different stations on Saturday and Sunday evenings with a holiday show on board featuring music and visits by Santa, Mrs. Claus, and a whole cast of holiday characters. Sunday's train program spotlighted a band from the San Francisco Corps, the Salvation Army, accompanied by the Menlo Park Chorus. Now in its 10th year, the chorus combines musical training and discipline with a neighborly feeling. When Santa made his appearance, he delighted children and grown-ups alike. Too soon the moment was over and Santa, Mrs. Claus, Frosty and the rest of the crew had to move on to the next stop in San Mateo, delivering a train full of holiday magic and cheer to the rest of the peninsula. For MCTV from San Bruno, I'm Richard Alvarez.